They were trying out a new package when it comes to a whole new world mill in Lorcana. We're trying a bounce package and this is literally straight off another creator, just like similarly with the previous list. So their link to their video and everything is going to be down below. And the reason that it really interested me is the advantage in itself. So you have the Madame Mim bounce package. Um, just kind of returning cards with Madame Mim, Snake, and Fox. And then you can build into big things like Yizma at six cost and just a one of Madame Mim at five. Uh, you're bouncing cards like Merlin. And that's going to give you the value that you need to control the board while at the same time we're playing the Beast package, which is going to allow us to draw cards with Beast Tragic Hero, control the board a little bit with Beast Forbidding Recluse. And again, ultimately, a whole new world to seal this out. We get to do that this game as well. And you're going to see how this deck honestly just takes over the game against discard decks because a whole new world just drawing you a fresh grip is so clutch against the card a deck that's just trying to get you to zero cards in hand. Enjoy. So we're trying out a different version of mill today, as I mentioned in the intro. One where one where we get to do some fun things. Now, this is a rather if you if you wanted if you took this in a paper it is a rather up there list in terms of cost but it does a lot of cool things and of course i just of course i just got rid of the tinkerbell for that that's fine um we'll get rid of the uh do we get rid of the benja no we'll just get rid of the magic broom and pass i think the plan is yizma i don't even know if i want to yizma shift i might actually just go yizma beast and then shift and get rid of this oh, it sucks that you can't hit fire the cannons that'd probably make this card too good but we have a removal spell if we need it that's the important part we have a removal spell if we need it here with the beast package i found that ultimately after testing a bunch of games without the beast package it's just again as i mentioned it's just not you just don't have the reach you you really need uh the beast shift uh to get anywhere that kind of that's kind of nice okay so i'm more inclined to then get rid of this to play this so now i have the tinkerbell set up even get yizma set up it's pretty good it's pretty good but i'm really curious as to what they've i haven't been paying attention to what they've been inking i have to do that let's see what happens so they play steel hercules what deck plays steel hercules oh each of okay they're playing they're playing discard Got you, got you, got you. Okay. They're playing discard. Okay, so I desperately need to draw cards. So this Yzma needs to be set up like ASAP. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of the beast. I'm going to play Yzma. Honestly, I think I pass. I could actually loot. But I think what happens here... So I essentially, like, I have to top my hand up. That's the idea here. So I have to use one myself, which is going to be a little awkward because if I'm going to go the mill package, I have to, I believe the line is you have to use magic broom. You have to use magic broom and something else to just tuck cards away. All right. Chief Bogo. Okay. I don't need the other one. They're not. You play, you play a Floodborne character. Okay, relax. Relax there, Buckaroonie. So we'll do this. Uh, we might as well quest with this. Or do I loot? Do I loot or do I quest? Uh. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna play the Grab Your Sword and then fire the canyons, right? So. gonna quest and i'm gonna use my shift for four play that on that when i play that i'm gonna get rid of this draw two cards beautiful then what i'm gonna do is we're gonna sing this for free right tap that down i don't i don't want this going off so we're just gonna kill that and then we're gonna pass the turn from there controlling the board controlling the board and I think that's the general plan from here. We could we could go the questing route, and that's the ultimate thing. When it comes to playing mill in this game right now, so far, there isn't support for a hard mill deck, and that's okay, right? So we ultimately have to be careful. Um, ultimately, we have to be careful with 
how much we are drawing, what we're setting up in the late game. And we could go for like mill wins. And, and we actually, that's the thing, we do, against this deck, we actively do want to be casting Brave New World. Because Brave New World gives us a fresh grip once we're low. We are pretty low right now. We are pretty low right now. We're already up on the quest train here. Next turn, I don't even know. Next turn, do we like Madam Mim? Like, do we like hook Madam Mim play Yzma? And then have Yzma again to just like hit everything else? I could even get rid of the Tinkerbell, but we might need the... I'm almost tempted to just go drop hook, play Tinkerbell, wipe the board a little bit here. Okay. Discards a card. Okay, Beast Package. Yeah, okay. So I, I kind of have to Tinkerbell. I don't want them drawing cards. I kind of have to Tinkerbell here. Oh, okay. Now that's tempting. Now that's tempting. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to play this out, do the damage, right? I'm going to... Oh, I can't. Um, that's fine. I don't want to brave new world now. I don't want to brave new world now. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna quest next turn. Uh, they're not gonna get the card draw off this, and that's what's important. So we tick that down because they played this for a reason, right? I think they probably have better plays, and hopefully they can't discard two cards from my hand. That would be an absolute. I'm being really greedy here. But then I can sing Brave New World for free, and then I can be the one to use all my stuff first. And I think that's the key here. Okay, discard that. Okay, that was a three cost. Hopefully they don't make us do that again. That'd be unfortunate. Okay. Not again. Come on. Come on, don't do it to me again. Okay, do you have anything for three? Okay, so it looks like they might they might kill Yzma, which is fine. It's good. That's the beast gone. Ooh. Okay, when you play a Floodborne character... Oh, yes. Okay, good. Um, so I can sing this now for free, which is great. So we're each going to get a fresh grip. Um, and I need to destroy that, essentially. But here's the tough thing. Yeah, see, I have... Thing has ward now. Each player can draw a card. Mm. So how do we want to do this? I can pay. I think I'll play this. Four cost. I'll draw a card. Uh, I don't necessarily think maybe because we have more Yzmas in this version of the deck. We only have one Madam Mim, but we have four Yzmas. So we do want to just set those up. So we're just playing out some active cards. We're able to draw some cards here. Fortunately, the smash isn't going to be that like I need to find a board wipe or a Tinkerbell. I need to get rid of this Bucky. This Bucky is going to be real annoying. Fortunate. Yeah, the, the smash isn't going to be that useful. I'm not really going to swing in. Uh, to this. Honestly, if I can find a Tinkerbell here, it's actually mad clutch. Finding a Tinkerbell here is crazy clutch. It's shift four. So I may actually... I mean, it costs six too. Like, what do I really want to do next turn? I think it's just... Ink the Smash. Ink the Smash whole new world with this try and ink the smash play magic broom put another whole new world back into the deck right or is it grab your sword back into the deck because i'll find another whole new world eventually especially based on what's on board right now if i can top deck tinkerbell then the plan changes just a bit but that would be great But this is going to be really annoying. Discard a card. Okay, the cauldron. That's fine. 
paying three to get me to discard and the thing. That was some good options. Opponent's playing kind of slow here, but I discard a card, another one. Okay, get rid of a smash. That's fine. Here, top dot. See, I need to get rid of that. Beast is kind of nice. So what does Magic Broom do? It puts it at the bottom. Okay. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna smash over there. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put a grab your sword in there because that's the plan. I need to increase my odds of actually like drawing that right now. So we'll do this. There's a grab your sword, which is great. And a whole new world, which is fantastic. So we're gonna just cast this, which gets rid of that. Fantastic. Do this and we'll do this. We're off to, and we're, and we're off to a not bad start. And next turn, there's no way they can make us like discard our whole hand. I can't remember if this deck has targeted discard. Can't remember if this deck has targeted discard, but only world just much better. Yeah, the beast package, like stuff like this is really important. Um, Okay, they can deal one damage to everything. So they can kill something. They might kill Yzma here. Ooh, they might kill Tinkerbell. Yeah, okay. They'll kill Tinkerbell in that case. That's fine. They use all their resources just to do that pretty much. So, okay. Drew another card. That's fine. That's less cards than us. I'm, I'm fine with that. We could go the mill route then. I'm fine. I'm fine with going the mill route here. Yep. Get rid of that. Ooh. What does this steel Simba do? Play this character. You may draw a card, then choose a card to discard. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, We can get rid of this. How greedy should I be? Uh, I can't really play much. Yeah, I just... I can play five and then the draw, which I think I'm just going to be questing, honestly. Play this out to draw uh, draw cards later on and just set up a big board, right? And that's it, right? Like this is they're like the only board wipe they're going to have is grab your sword. That's it. That's the only board wipe they're going to have. So they really got to think about it that way. And then next turn. I mean, each one, yeah, they're going to put that away. We're going to be doing some beautiful stuff here. Drawing some extra cards. We can get rid of some of this package. Magic brooms are going to allow us to put some cards here. Whenever your opponent discards one or more cards, you may draw a card. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I love that. Okay. That's dead. That's fine. So they're going to put two damage on something else with that yep so that's going to prevent the draw from there just force an action on their part what i can then do is i can throw i can throw this merlin at them i can yeah i can smash this right just do fun stuff honestly it's gonna be some fun stuff that we're doing here yep Dies there. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. I'm I'm fine with drawing some cards. So we saw 28. Ooh, two damage is really good here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to play that. I think I'm gonna have to play that. Because then that prevents this from drawing, which is great. That also kills this. That honestly, grab your sword is so good here. That, card, that draw was actually so good. And then we're just going to be able to quest with like both of these. Like, it's just going to be really good here in terms of the board that we leave them with. All right, opponent. What happens now? They're, they're discarding through. There's not much to do here on our opponent's side. Opponent, what's going on right now? I, I, don't, I don't think they realize they need to like... <laughs> they need to like end their turn. That's fine. Uh, Tinkerbell is cool. Tinkerbell is one route, but um, yeah, we kind of just want to discard. So we'll get rid of this. That's fine. We will 
board wipe here, right? West. Uh, we could actually kill that too. I might do that. Yeah, we'll kill this completely. See, I don't need to do anything. I honestly don't even need to. You know what? We're not even going to whole new world. I'm just going to banish this. Draw a card. Play it again. Draw a card. That just sounds better. I could I could do the beast. Um, but this is fine too. The beast, what's now what's now great about this is the beast is just this massive attacker. Um, if they go to like do any questing shenanigans, but we're so far ahead. We're so far ahead. I kind of like, I just want kind of want to get greedy and go the mill route. I kind of just want to get greedy and go the mill route. But let's see what they do. We're going to go Magic Broom, put a whole new world back into the deck. And, uh, yeah. Yep. That's fine with me. Uh, we're definitely going to get them to draw some cards here. I don't have Yizma. I don't have a Yizma out, though, but that's fine. I can just play this out. It's worth less if I just do that whole shebang. So if I just go Mim here, right? And then we go... Magic Broom, select and return a whole new world, right? Then we go Yzma, right? Play this, return their Tinkerbell, let them draw two cards. Then we're going to sing whole new world, right? With this, just get them to draw. That's it. Like I can, I can be greedy. I can make them do this. Bang, bang. And then we play this, Madam Mim, and then we Magic Broom, right? That's that's the recursion with it. The Magic Broom is going to allow us to like keep shuffling these back in, add more cards to our deck. I mean, they're at fresh grip, but they're playing a discard deck against a whole new world. That's not going to work out for them. That's not going to work out for them. One card away. Because they're at, they're at 15 right now. If I can grab... Ooh, board wipe's good. Board wipe's good. That's three cards gone. Definitely going to draw a card. Looks like a whole new world is kind of just stuck. This is just us draw two cards. Okay. That's unfortunate. Okay. So, in this case... Kind of sucks, but we're going to go... West, probably just do this, turn that to our hand, play this again, get them to draw more cards, right? Then we're going to honestly put away a Yzma, because I'm not that attached to it right now, and then play this out, put a whole new world back into the deck. That's the plan. Pass the turn from there. Opponent, like literally two activations away. If I draw a whole new world here, I'm pretty much going to draw into another one and then I can sing with Yzma or I can just cast it twice. There's a lot I can do here. I essentially have like three looks at a whole new world out of my top 17. Can't be Moria. Yeah. I can't cheat out the Tinkerbell. But... Again, I could go the aggro questing route, but we're here to mill. We're here to mill. Like they're playing a bunch of uh, playing out a bunch of things in fear, which is perfectly fine. It's not going to work out here. They keep losing. And what's nice about the whole new world is like you can't discount how much this disrupts their plan. Um, like a curve that they might have. Sure, they can draw into other things, but. Yeah, that's fine. See, this beast drawing them cards at this point, it's like, that's perfectly fine. If we get desperate, we could grab. Okay. Oh, the top deck whole new world. What did I just say? The top deck whole new world is insane. Okay, uh, let's just... Yeah, let's just sing this with the Yzma. They are pretty much done if I find a whole new world here. Oh, yeah, GG's. And we got the mill. There it is. There's the mill win. Draw your cards. You're drawn from an empty deck. And we win.
<laughs> Not bad, but you can see how the beast package helps because it acts as an anchor for them to attack into, provides us a lot more card draw. I find just, just going the purple package isn't the way you want, but um, I mean, definitely still lower in the ranks, still got a lot of games to play, but it's the learning process.